This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Discussed here on the show before, but I know if we don't address it, then people are going to say, Hey, why didn't, uh, Buff Bagwell is let go before the raw in Atlanta. And there's been talk about his fight with Shane Helms at uh, developmental or practice. If you will, there's been discussions of him showing up late. There's also been discussions about his mother, Judy calling to complain. Um, it's unfortunate that things wound up the way it did, because I feel like he still had a ton of potential and essentially his run on, on, on national television is, is done after this. And I know he's been pretty vocal in, in later years about how, you know, he held you responsible and, and it had some animosity towards you for the way all of this came to an end. Mm-hmm. But I think for you, this is water under the bridge these days. And we both hope he's doing well these days, but chat me up. What do you remember about the buff Bagwell situation? Well, he, buff just, did, he thought he, he had a higher, uh, opinion of his work than Vince did. Right. And you know, I, I've become the bad guy because I'm the middleman. I'm the guy that delivers the bad news or the good news at times. Uh, but I don't, I don't hold any animosity to this very, to this day on Mark Bagwell whatsoever. I saw where he, he had a car wreck and it was involving, I think drinking, maybe something here last few months. Uh, he just wasn't a good fit Conrad. And he, you know, uh, that partying lifestyle, you know, we're trying to distance ourselves a little bit from that if we could, but, uh, you know, it just. And, and I, and again, you know, Vince just didn't see the money in Mark that Mark saw it himself. So I can only deal with a hand that's dealt me when I'm told this kid's not going to get it. I want you to let him go. So when we were in Atlanta, I, we went to a little room there. I remember, I remember vividly, I didn't enjoy doing it. How in the hell could you be a human being and enjoy telling somebody that they're at, they're done. I, I'm not that person. I felt for him and I felt bad for him and. It didn't have a lot to do with Judy, but that's good dirt. God damn. That's, that's really good dirt. You know? So Judy, this Judy had little to do with that. Mark's own personal habits and the way he conducted himself was what, uh, uh, let the air out of his sails. And, uh, but if he had a better attitude at it, then at young age, and at that point in time, you know, we're talking over 20 years ago, uh, you know, he, he might, he'd have had a shot to to get on, get, get, to get playing time, but it just, he, he wasn't given that opportunity. It seemed like partying was a little bit more important to him than uh, being a professional. This is, uh, something else that we've got to address and it, uh, Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.